name's James Staples. I'm Navy Solutions Specialist for our Alliances and Ecosystems team. And uh, I'm here to introduce uh, my colleague and our technology partner, uh, Mr. Dave Missel uh, from Sennheiser. Uh, he's an insights manager and a technology consultant. And uh, Dave, I'll go let you take it away. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Hope everybody's doing well. Day two of ISC, very exciting. And uh, really certainly glad to be here with uh, QAssist and, and, and really exciting things we're doing together. And today we're going to cover a little bit about uh, our technology um, as it's paired with QSIS technology, specifically when we talk about the camera presets uh, within a meeting space. So let's think about a little bit about the meeting space itself. When we think about it, there's three things, many more than this, but three main things. High quality, flexible audio, because we really want to make sure that anybody can be heard in the meeting space. All right, and especially on the remote side, because we'll make sure that people are, feel part of the meeting. So we want to make sure that there's flexible audio, high quality, clear audio in the meeting space. But at the same time, we have to have qu high quality, flexible video now, right? We want to make sure that if someone is talking, the person on the far end knows who that person is, and they can feel a, bit, a little bit more connected to the meeting when they can actually see that person on the screen as opposed to trying to find them in a large meeting space. And then, of course, inclusiveness for collaboration. There's so much collaboration going on in the meeting space now from remote. We need to make sure that through audio and video, we have connection to the far end as much as possible. And I think you'll see with the technology that we have in our ceiling microphones and the technology that QSIS has in their control and in their camera presets, uh, we can really do this to a great extent to make people feel part of the meeting, even from the remote side. So you'll see in these slides how this partnership has grown and what we're able to do within a, a meeting space. So whether it's a meeting space that's just a static space or a meeting space that is divided into uh, a, to a couple of different sections. So let's first start with the microphone technology. When we look at our Team Connect ceiling solutions, at the show uh, today, this, this week, we're actually introducing a second microphone now. If you're familiar with our Team Connect Ceiling 2, which is the big black square one, we're also now introducing the Ceiling Microphone Medium. Right? This is a new smaller one, but they're both working on the same type of technology. It's automatic beam forming technology. So we have an array of microphones in each one of these mics, and through different phase and gain changes, we can create a single beam that focus on, on whoever is talking in the room, right? And it will quickly change over to whoever is speaking within the space. Here's a diagram that would show you that if you have one person in one corner of the room, if they move over to the other side, the beam will quickly track over to them. It doesn't matter where they go or where they sit within this space. It doesn't matter how you configure the room. One microphone will cover the whole area and direct this narrow beam and isolate everybody else just to the person that is speaking. Both of these microphones do this. The TCC-M, the smaller microphone, is for the smaller spaces and medium meeting spaces. The TCC-2 is for those larger meeting spaces. And you'll see over at the Sennheiser booth, we have a couple of demos of both of these happening. These can be daisy chained into larger areas and paired with many different pre camera presets that I'll show you uh, that James has uh, set up. So because of this, we actually now have a position uh, data of where this beam is in the room. Right? It's a single beam, but we give access to QSIS, the vertical and horizontal positioning of that beam. When we designed it, we didn't think about this, but then with QSIS control... Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, basically, we take horizontal and vertical pairs of coordinates, and we bring that into QSIS via the plugin, uh, to Sennheiser plugin, our ACPR plugin, and basically you create a, a strike zone, right? To use a baseball analogy, or just a target zone. It can be as small or as large, within reason as you want, and then you map your preset camera shot to that zone. So when the speaker goes live in that zone, like say this over here is a zone, I step in, camera moves over to me, does a hard take. You never see panning, tilting, or zooming. All hard takes. Absolutely brilliant. Mic tracks like nobody's business. I use it in our lab five days a week. 
Exactly. And we're able to do this because we have our own media control protocol so that you can subscribe to the positioning of the microphone. Of course, you can control the LEDs, control mute of the microphone as well, but you can also subscribe to those angles of that beam so that it can activate a preset within the QSIS system. It works br brilliantly. So wherever that beam angle is formed, that information is recalled to the camera position and it instantly switches over to that position. They do have a demo of this inside that people are lined up to take a look at. And we also are demoing it with the QSIS system at our booth uh, over in Hall 3. We have a plugin that, that works uh, so that this data is sent to their camera preset plugin. And we work very, very closely with them in design. Because in, in, whenever you do these plugins, we've got to make sure they work. And our uh, technicians work with their technicians very closely to make sure that everything is verified before we release a plugin. We are part of their technical uh, uh, corporation. What is it? The technical uh, technology program partner. Technology program partner, one and first. really, really proud to be be part of that with you guys. Yeah, likewise. One of the things I just wanted to take a second here, just uh, with the plugin, and also just it's a feature of the mic. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant in terms of setting up a room. The exclusion zones, right? It's just wonderful because yep. you know you don't want far side speech or program audio to trigger the, the beam, right? So you just go into the web GUI, whoosh, carve out your exclusion, you're done. Exactly. If you look at the graphic, we're actually showing a representation of the ceiling mic and then the 360 pattern that the microphone will pick up with that single beam. But if there is something in the room that's making noise that you do not want the beam to go to, I can create an exclusion zone. And it just tells that beam, nope, I don't want that beam to go into this area. It could be a speaker that's in the room, right? It could be maybe the, a, a printer that's making some noise. Maybe it's a fan of, of some equipment in a rack or maybe a ceiling speaker. You can actually pull the, the pattern of the microphone off of the ceiling so that the beam doesn't go up to any of the speakers or any air transfer that happens to be up in the ceiling. So you have a lot of latitude to actually take those, that big 360 pattern and shrink it down to exactly the area that you want to focus on and then still take those coordinates, that vertical and horizontal positioning, send it to QSIS for the preset to be activated within the space. 100%, works brilliantly, really does. So as we mentioned, we're an official technology partner with QSIS, very excited to be there uh, with them, and, uh, and who knows what we'll do in the future, probably plenty more yeah. as we get these plugins all set up. Absolutely, yeah, we're extremely closely partnered, and uh, it's, a, it's a great relationship, right? Wonderful company, wonderful products, great people, and you know, the, our solutions combined uh, really deliver elegant results that are incredibly easy to set up.